were here with you, Martin O'Connor, Martin de Miller O'Connor, yeah. in Ballinamona, and that was your family mill behind us. Yeah. What was the, the superstition around the mill on this day? Well, I tell you the truth, Michael, I, I wouldn't be superstitious, and I can't say it was superstition, but it's a, it's a, it's a heritage that's handed down from generation to generation with, with millers and with fishermen too, I may add, of about that uh, the mill, a water mill never turned, the water wheel never turned on St. Martin's night. The same as probably you have heard it too, no fishing was done on St. Martin's night. But there was no mill ever turned, no water wheel, if they say, no water wheel ever turned on St. Martin's night. I'm not able to tell you what the logic behind it was, but St. Martin, I know there's a couple of, a couple of different Martins. St. Martin the Parry, which is not the saint, the St. Martin that's associated with the mills is supposed to be an uncle to St. Patrick. Now that's going back a long time, but I mean that's handed down, you can ask anyone that worked in mills anywhere, water mills, this is now water mills, that no water mill ever turned on St. Martin's Day, and that's handed down year after generation after generation. Now whether you can call it superstition or not, but that was at here to, and yet they didn't do it. And would your father have? Oh, he wouldn't. He he wouldn't think of it. The mill wouldn't be even opened on Saint Martin's night. They'd be locked. That wouldn't. Oh no, that that wouldn't. Nothing. Nothing. It made no difference. No, no work done on Saint Martin's night. That was, that was, ritual. So like, um, I was talking to I was talking to a fella here now only. I'd say 10 or 12 years ago, and he was a fisherman. And he was the type of a man, you know, that if you... If the devil came along there and met him on the road, he'd pull out his hand to shake hands with him. That's the type he was. And I said to him, tell me, did you ever hear tell of fishing on St. Martin's night? And he said, fish on St. Martin's night? I say, would you do it? Well, he says, I, I might be mad, he says, but by God's sake, I'm not that mad, he says. I'm not that mad I had fish on St. Martin's night. So and he, was a, he was a fellow in his probably late 60s. Local man? Fairly local. Now, he was living by the coast, fairly local, but he wouldn't, the poor man is dead now. Yes, yeah, he's dead, but no. And he was a fellow that had shake hands with the devil if he met him, but he wouldn't fish on Martin's night, though. I heard my father saying, all right, uh, he knew, I won't, I, I, won't, I won't name any place now because uh, he can't name any place, but he knew a person where the mill did work on St. Martin's night, all right, and there was a very, very, well, I'd say a tragic accident in the mill, not here, but I won't say where. I didn't really know where it was in, in any case. But there was the the ground the wheel turned on Martin's night and there was a very well it was a fatality. So like the there could be something that is not superstition, there could be something attached to it. Maybe a certain amount of superstition, but not a hundred percent. You know, it's a bit of boat. So but I would if I were if I if that mill was working today, I would be the same way. I wouldn't ride on Mar St. Martin's night. You know.